Welcome everyone, welcome to Halo Gaming today. Oh, this is gonna be good because like now we're back to part three of the tutorial for Universal Powerhouse card game. Now uh we used one from each pack of just these two two boxes. Those boxes are out for now until a future video. Now we're down to these th three right here. So this time I'm going to be using I got a couple other th things. I'm going to be using one team of Gaming Icon Pillow Man, one team of Head of Game and uh, who, who knows for the team because like I, I don't know, there's a lot of teams. And then maybe a third team because like this is going to be a most important one. So this is going to be a three-way match. And uh, yeah, so let's get right to the point and let's go. Okay, so here we are. Three teams, one round because this is going to be a really good video. But this is another tutorial version of it. As I said, part three will be advanced. This is the advanced match of this whole game. Now, it's not too advanced, but it is a bit advanced. Now, as you can see here, we have one team that has battle stages. Now, that's all we need is one team. Now, one team of the battle stages is enough for this part of the tutorial. Because it's only one match. Because I'm going to go back and forth between three teams. So this is going to be a long ass video. But <laughs> whatever, it's going to be good. So I'll get you guys set up over there or something and um, we can get started. Okay, so here we go. For the, the whole round, and I am going to show you guys how good this gets. Now, as I said, it'll get more complicated. I'm not keeping track of the health bar, the power bar, or like anything at all. I'm just going to keep track of what I'm doing here. Kind of like I did last time. So, the battle stage will be... Ooh! Uh, how about this one? Demon's Lair 2. So there it is. It's in the middle of the actual match. Now I'm going to pick a card from the characters now from all, also in the three teams. Now I'm going to use Give Me a Comic Pillow. Give Me a Comic Pillow Man Legendary Form. Now, this is his first legendary form. So, of course, it's going to be a little more tougher to beat. And uh, if you can see here, the infinity sy symbols on all four, all four of those um, number boxes and whatever. So, that's how, how you know it's a legendary. Because those kinds of guys are most impossible to fight. Now, I'm gonna use, from this side, the Golden Knight Riders. Golden Knight, uh, okay. okay, yeah, 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 he's good. Um, and from this team, the final part is, oh. <laughs> so good. Head of game and really power team. Now, this is how, how it's going to go. I'm just going to slide this card in so you know that they're fighting on that stage. 
Now, let's begin. Now, it's kind of, kind of basic again uh, from what I've done last time as well. Um, you get to choose a card or run off the bat who, of what you want to do. Some, same kind of, kind of deal, but you know, this is more advanced. So, this, uh, this is a multi-strike card that I've got here. This is the first card that I'm going to use, and I'm, and this, this can, well, when you have three or more pe people on the battlefield, you can choose which person you want to attack. So I'm going to attack Game of Iconic, Pal Game of Iconic Pal Man because he's pretty strong already. So I'm going to attack him and then that move is done. Now, I'm going to just move this team over a bit because this is crucial to the card game. So anyways, um, yeah. So now let me think. Um, what card to use on this side? This side's gonna be more difficult to track because like there's two cards in here that I can use. Uh, one, one card and then another card on top of it. So same deal. Okay, here, here we go. I'm gonna use uh, Limits are Broken. And speed and Time 100. So I'm blasting through to time and everything. And then I can increase it or attack the opponent. Um, I'm going to use another... No, I'm going to use a power up. Here we are, power team H and R plus one. So that increases the... The actual um, power of 99 to go to 199. And now let's go to this. Now, here we are for the American Card Pillow Man's team. I have a few different cards in here because they're, they're pillow cards, okay? Just know that for each franchise or universe that they're from, I have different cards for them all. Given you can switch up the, the decks uh, however you want, but you know, I'm going to use a uh, Water Force Frog. Power 70, Speed 60, Agility 50, and Shield 30. So that increases Jimmy Iconic Hellman's power 100. 100% more of those percentages. Now, we keep going around until the whole thing's done. Here we are on unknown abilities. This is a power card, so here we are. Power 200. So there we go for that. Like, that is all right. Really outstandingly amazing, you know? I'm just gonna move this again, just, just because, you know? Otherwise, it's gonna mess up the cards of when I lay them out. Anyways, now, that just generated a lot of power for this character. Um, how about we use, um, oh, how about this? Atomic Clash. Now, this card, I haven't explained it yet, but this is my first time I'm gonna explain it to you guys. Atomic Clash, different powers and abilities and it can clash at the right time, but the users of the abilities have to be be timed at the exact moment to put this one down. 
Now, what that means, what I mean by this card is once that goes down, one, two, three, four or more people who, how many people are playing, have to play another card. Cannot be a power up, cannot be a teleport or a heal. It has to be an attack. That's how they clash, and then as long as that, that power keeps going, it's an internal fight. So here we are again, yada yada yada. I'm gonna use a pure energy blast for this team. So I have to put that down. Now, give me iconic Pillman's team. Uh, he has to use an attack card. Um, hang on. Uh, okay, here we are. Epic Pillow Barrage. Now that's a good, good card to use right there. So there's that. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, okay, here we are. And then this is a card here, a Divine Fist. They are all clashing all at once. And we don't know who the winner is of that clash, but let's just say it goes to get, Game of Iconic Pillow Man, since he has inf infinite power, infinite agility, infinite shield, and infinite speed. So he wins that, that part of the match. Now it goes all the way back to this team again. Now, I'm going to play a good defense. I'm going to use the teleportation card, power 100, speed 100. So that, that does that. And I can use another ability card. <clears throat> I'm going to use atomic blast, and power 15, deal 5 damage, so 20 damage. And I'm going to attack the golden, the golden knight. So, he just took a lot of damage. Now, here's the other rule. You can choose who you want to attack, if there's three or more pe people. <coughs> but the default, as in a tournament, the attacker can attack everyone all at once. So that's the default for the tournament. Anyways, internal energy crystals. Power 100, speed 90, agility 70, shield 50, and health 100. So he gets to regenerate it, all powered up and everything. So give me iconic and pillow man is back where he started. Now, here we are again for for the Gold Knights character, he is going to use Ultimate Sword Burst Slashes. Power 9, deal 9 damage. So that does a lot there. Now he's attacking Header Game and really the Power Team. So that happens in there. Now, here we are again. Um, I'm going to use a, another power up card here. Mega Power Boost Awakens. So that just increased the head of game and release power team by a hundred. So there we go for that. Now, here we are. You can use as many cards as you want when you have a teleport card or a pocket dimension card. And uh, I'm just doing it it's out of instinct so you can get the, the rhythm of it all. Now, here we go for the, um, let's see. 
Okay, you know, let's use the de demon spell card. Um, so it, it, it basically sa says you can control the de demon or whatever, you know, all that. And um, here we are. So, um, no, wait. No, that'll be the next turn. I cannot do anything right here now because, like, that just happened. But anyways, now comes this. The de demonic uh, lightning strike. Power 10, damage 5. So 15 damage for this card, and I'm going to be attacking Gimnarchon Pillar Man once again. But again, if this was a tournament, they'd both get shot. So, except for, for the caster. The caster does not get shot or hit at all. Now, here we are for um, this card from Head of Game and Release and Power Team. Sunbeam Lasers. Power 10. Heat of 5, damage 5. So 20 damage in total. So that just obliterated one character. And they are head of the game really or attacking the knight. Because like he's doing a lot of them, a lot more damage this time around for giving our kind of hell man. As you know, he's got a infinite power and shit like that. <clears throat> Anyways, ultra uh, ultra uh, ability increase. So, power five, agility ten, speed fifteen, shield twenty. So this card is pretty good. He just just got a lot more uh, energy and everything. Now, let's go back here and use this. Um. Okay, here, here's a good one uh, for for the Golden Knight character. I got two more power-up cards, so here, here we go. Uh, oh no, wait a second. Before I use that card, I, I'm going to use this. Because this can actually use another card on top of it. So, Teleport Porter Increase. Power 199. So that increases the teleportation. Now the Gold Knight is teleporting everywhere. And I'm going to use this card Demonic Abilities. Power 100. Now that increases his speed, his agility, his shield, and everything. So he's basically untouchable now. Teleporting all around the uh, Game of Connor Pelman and Hit of game and really. So, both of these guys, whatever happens next with this guy, they're doomed. Now, um, here we go. Green Orb of Destruction. Now, power 15, damage 5, another 20 damage. They just uh, struck a game of Iconic Pelman. So, yeah. And now that Game of Iconic Pelman has taken a lot of damage, he's in a vulnerable spot. And yet, I have still one, two, three, four, five, six. Six more cards in this deck for, for Game of Iconic Pelman. So I'm going to use two cards. So the, so the demon spell has been, been casted, and now the demon attack card. Now, power 10, speed 15, agility. No, power 10, speed 5, agility 15, and damage 20. Around 30 or 40 da damage in total, but that's insane. So that that's just use use of the demon and whatever. 
Now, here we go. I got four cards left for this team. Now, I'm going to use another power card. Mega Ultra Abilities. Power 300. So, three, di three different lines of all the power they can have. And that just awoken the Gold Knight's true potential. So, he is basically unstoppable now. And now for this, we're down to the last three cards here for, for Head of Game and Release Power Team. Um, and I'm not going to use the really crazy overpowered one yet. Or have I already used it? No, I have not. Good. So, here we go. Massive Explosion Burst. Power 15, speed 5, damage 7. So around 30 damage in total. Like, my god, that's a good damage. And they just attacked Gimme Iconic Propeller Man once again. So if he was at low health, maybe he'd be, be at 20 or 10%, 10, uh, 10 health left. Now, here it comes right now. Um, uh, let's use the Health Restore Infinity. Now, 100% restored. And now, Game of Iconic Panel Man can use so much more of it. Power again, and uh, now that his stamina and health is back, he's a god again. Now we're down to the last three cards here. Now, the uh, repel shield for uh, for Gold Knight's uh, card increases the shield by sixty percent, so he's well protected, and because of all the Power ups I gave, I gave him. He pretty much is protected still. And uh, ju just keep in mind, he's still teleporting all around. So he's very much uh, uh, impossible to track now. Now, su super atomic blast. Power fifteen, deal five damage. Now. Finally, we're, we are going to be attacking the Gold Knight, blasting his shield into pieces that, that went around him, right? Destroying his uh, teleporting abilities, and now he's out in the open. He took a massive damage because he was going so fast, right? So, I would have to say if this was, if this was not an infinite ba battle of infinite health, he would have taken 50 damage because of how fast he was going. Now, let's go with this. Um, the, the Dark Triforce. Um, darkness and Power 50. Darkness Agility 70. Darkness and Speed 60. Darkness Shield 100. So that just gave him a whole bunch of darker, darker energy. And now I can use a card on top of that. And summon spell attack. So this is the de demon card again. But with all three versions of pillows on it. So a new f fusion ability card has become, but this is from the demon's world, it can summon a few de demons and put, them, put a spell on, on them and get them to attack with full force of everything. Demon summon 3. Control spell 100. Attack at 30 and damage 50. So that is the most... <laughs> it's, 
it's completely unbeatable there. So that, that just ha happened, and he gave me a card of Hellman, just attacked it, hit of game, and Rayleigh's power team. So they took a lot of damage as well. Now, uh, last two cards here. I'm gonna use from here Mega F Fire Punch. Power 20, damage 20. So 40 damage, and that goes again to Hato Game and really Power Team. Now there's one card left. And there's one card left here as well. Oh my gosh. Internal Power Pulse. Power 20. I didn't put damage, but that, that's basically it. They just attacked him for one last little shot. I gave me an Iconic Pillow Man. Now they have destroyed everything and gave, gave me an Iconic Pillow Man. Uh, or so they thought, because they, they destroyed the infinity part of him. Now he's just a regular uh, character. So he, he's, he's out of commission of infinity until his turn is done. Then he, he's regenerated and everything. So I'm going to use for him... Oh my gosh. Last three cards are, are like health. <laughs> I'm stupid. But this, um, this deck has a good, a good uh, way to, to fight because these three are health, uh, power, and and uh, just health increase. Uh, health, and shield, and speed increase, and health and power restore. So I, I'm going to be using this time um, the health and shield and speed increase card. So he's kind of getting better, but he is still kind of screwed up but now this ends the match atomic balls barrage power 10 damage 20 and this attacks both of them at the same time so the gold knight has won this round so that is how it all works people that's how a three-way battle is actually done Okay, so there you guys have it. That's how it works for a three-way battle to a more difficult battle. But the next one will be on part four. I'm, I'm really not sure when I'll do part four, but it'll be with more people. I, I promise you guys. I, this was just a tutorial on a one-man kind, of, kind of battle doing all three. So... Um, what did you guys think of this whole thing? But yeah, it went for 25 minutes or so. But I I loved it. I loved doing this for you guys. And just, just so you guys know, I'm going to be get, getting the Nintendo Switch OLED this week. So be ready for better graphics on Mario Maker 2. Of the Mario Maker 2 Fridays. It's going to be way more better, honestly. But anyways, can you comment down below on what you thought about this whole thing, if it helped you understand the card game. And when I do get the card game out there, we can have a match or a, or a tournament. All right, like, share, subscribe, comment, give lots of love to the channel, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.